Hello, internet. It is Brush, and, uh, yeah, I didn't post for two days in a row, and I am very sorry. <laughs> the thing is, is that life happened, and I will talk about that probably tomorrow, and, uh, yeah. So... I wanted to talk about something specific today. I wanted to talk about why I don't prefer art social media or like social media in general. And the core reason of it is that it promotes low self-esteem, thus they can sell you things through ads. If you think about it like the beauty guru influencer community, you see this beautiful person selling like fit tea and they, you're compelled to buy it at, if you have a low self-esteem, so you can look to, like that person. And I'm saying this very generally. I'm not saying that everybody with low self-esteem will be like, Oh, I want to buy everything that the universe tells me to buy. Because uh, I'm one of those people that doesn't have a low self-esteem, and I think almost all the ads on uh, Instagram are stupid. I get a lot of them. <laughs> Especially those like the Game of Sultans game. That those are stupid. They're just why would anyone make a game like that? Anyways, so it promotes a slow. It promotes a low self-esteem, and it promotes a low se art self-esteem. Like it, you see all these great artists out there with like their fancy antiques and their uh, Photoshop, and just making this immaculate art. Like, two that I think of right now are Ross Draws and, uh, oh, forgot her name. Eh. I'll put it up on the screen, probably. And they do great work, and then you look at your own, and you're like, wow, mine is just horrible. And then you're compelled to buy better supplies so you can just look better, make your art look better than what it actually is. And sorry, this video isn't scripted. This is just me with a few pointers talking because I don't believe in scripts because they take time to actually write. And I want to get these out as soon as possible because I'm lazy. <laughs> So, you're compelled to buy all of these different art supplies, and you're just, it, without the practice, you won't, you'll be wasting your money. What you really need to be thinking is, I need to practice more so I can reach that level with the supplies I have now. That's like a really big thing for younger artists to understand, is that it's not the supplies that you have, or the money that you spend on stuff, it's the actual skill level. And then my second point is that the only way to get popular on a social media, Instagram, DeviantArt, PagerWorld, YouTube, is fan art slash pandering or luck. So pandering to a fandom Um, is something that I personally don't want to do. Like, I might do fan art later in the series for, like, Ladybug or um, Snow White with the red hair because I love those shows dearly, but I don't really want to be... I don't want to have to, like, pander to a fandom or multiple fandoms just so I can get views because, to me, that's, like, not being true to myself because I don't want to make fan art, so why should I? I focus on making m mainly personal art and uh, OC art and just redoing old paintings that I did traditionally because I find that fun. That's fun for me. And I will probably do that for the rest of the series. But I just... There's something... I wonder if a lot of the people who do a lot of... Um, fan art are actually happy with what they're doing because 
I mean, it's a lot of fun to do fan art because I've done it before, but it just doesn't seem like something that would be fun if you do it every single day for the rest of your art career on, or like a good portion of it in a, uh, in an art career or like a year. Like if you draw fan art every day for a year, your OCs will be crying in a corner. They love you. <laughs> and the second thing is I don't like lottery systems. Lottery systems are like Pagey World and DeviantArt. At least I think Pagey World is still a lottery system. Last time I looked at it, which was yesterday, it seems like a lottery system where either A, things are featured, or B, everything is posted to the same board. And it's like if you post something, it'll be drowned out in about three seconds. No one will see it unless it's like immaculate, and then they'll click on it and then they'll follow you. AKA DeviantArt. <laughs> and I just, I don't like it because it doesn't help, it doesn't help support artists who are younger and who are just as good but just not as detailed or like. It's not pandering to anime and then people don't like it because they're looking for a specific style. I mean, people can have their preferences. It's just... I think there should be another way to have, like, uh, art be found besides hashtags, which is pretty much pandering to a fandom usually, and going through the whole, I need, like, you have to be at a certain skill level to then be discovered by people. Or, like, be as clickbaity as possible. <laughs> certain YouTuber. <laughs> and... I just... I don't know. It's... It's weird to me. I don't like lottery systems. It's just my opinion. This whole entire video is my opinion. I should probably put this... Like, it's just me rambling and needing to talk about something for a video. Thus, I am putting a clickbaity uh, title <laughs> and clickbaity this and that because I want views. But what I'm saying, you can take it with a grain of salt or you can just not and believe me or something. I don't know. I just wanted to open a dialogue about this situation. What do you think about social media? What do you think about letting people uh, do fan art because, and then just doing fan art because they want to be popular? And what do you think about lottery systems? So yeah, I think I'll talk about this painting now. <laughs> So the first one that I did, I it's called Water Lily. I posted this on Instagram a long time ago, a long time ago meaning like maybe five months ago, before I really got into digital art, and I wanted to like, it, this video is on my YouTube, I just wanted to reset my watercolor skills, which I, I don't touch anymore, but I just wanted to do watercolor, and hang out with my watercolors because they're lonely. They're very lonely. So I redrew it digitally because I have no ideas for original art besides the stuff that I've already done. And yeah. And then the second drawing is a doodle of my friend's favorite comic character, Rickety Stitch. And he really wanted me to draw this and I give my friends like free vouchers for drawings, so he used one of those, and I did a doodle for him. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like, and subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what you think about the whole entire uh, lottery system, and doing fan art for fame, and pandering to a fandom, and all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye!